So I'm back with another decluttering video. It's actually the same day, about an hour later from my last video. So if you didn't watch my kitchen declutter, cabinet declutter part two, I'll put that link in a card above. So if you did watch that video at the very end, I told y'all that I would probably step away from the kitchen to move to the linen closet because it was such a mess. This is one of those things that I need to quit waiting to do it because I have no idea what's in this closet. Stuff is crammed in there. It's disgusting. I don't really know how it happened, but I know what started this whole thing was I know I had two electric blankets. I had a tan one and I had a red and white plaid one. This time last year, I think, I went to get those for our, our anticipated um, snowy weather. Could not find them. I have no idea where they are. So I went to get those and I could not find them. My husband was like, I know we have two electric blankets. And I was like, I know we do. I can't remember if they stopped working last year when we used them or if they are crammed in this closet and I have no idea where they are. So that is why we are doing this today. Enough is enough. We have switched out beds since the last time I've went through this closet. And this is actually Kate's closet in her bathroom so Derek shares the bathroom with me and Nathan and then Kate uses the other bathroom it needs to be set up for her it is a, it looks awful so let's just step in there and let me show you I'm a little bit nervous about this whole declutter because I think it might take a while okay so this is Kate's bathroom it's the one that she uses and this closet here so this is the door I just came in and sorry with the echo I need to clean this bathroom or ask her to clean it today um, this is her linen closet even the outside door needs to be cleaned so I need to do that as well so it's just gotten to be complete junk and I know she I mean mm. Mm. I know this bothers her too Oh, goodness. So, these two shelves in the middle right here, that is where all the towels go. And since we have not been able to do laundry, that's why there's nothing in here. So, um, I might have some clothes, some laundry to put in here. We'll see. So, we're going to take everything out of this closet and reorganize it. Look at this. Like, the toilet paper needs to go somewhere. I mean, what is all of that? I have no idea what all that crap is. So we're gonna pull everything out of the closet first. I'm gonna pull it to the living room and we're gonna organize in there because this space is just way too small to be doing any of that. guys whoo we so I went ahead and vacuumed and then wiped this down with some disinfectant pulled everything out but I do have towels up here so I think what I'm gonna do first before doing any of the linens and blankets and all that is I'm gonna put the things in here that I know we need to keep so I want all the beach towels up here I've got a few that were randomly all over the place I don't even know how many beach towels we have all of the towels go here and then I need to bring the basket back in here that has the washcloths. Now they were right here in the hand towels. So all of that I'm going to do first and then we, will, then we will start all of the looking through items. So I folded all the towels that were clean which is not a whole lot right now since like I said we cannot do laundry because we're scared our pipes are frozen because it's 14 degrees right now. So I went ahead and folded everything that we had clean and put it here. So this whole shelf right here will be towels. We have enough to fill the whole shelf. Here are the beach towels and we might have one or two in the wash because sometimes, you know, like right now, if all of these towels get used, we'll have to move to beach towels because we can't do laundry. And then up here are the wash rags and hand towels. So that's good and this may not all stay where it is right now but that's going to be the start so we're going to do towels beach towels hand towels and wash rags towels 
And then down here, I did ask Kate, and she said it would be helpful to have a little section for all the toilet paper. So, right now, if you watch at the very beginning, all of this toilet paper was just shoved in here. Like that. Not organized at all. So, I'm going to put all of that on this shelf, and then we'll move to the living room. done. So I'm not sure if it's going to stay there, but it's going to be there for right now. And now let's go look at the crazy mess in the living room. So here is what the living room floor looks like right now. I just had to grab everything and put it in here. I'm not sure where, I guess I need to sort first. So my question was, as I was pulling all of this stuff out of the linen closet, a lot of this stuff goes for beds. So why am I keeping like Kate's linens in this closet, Derek's linens in this closet? It would be so much easier if I sorted everything based on room, put it in a basket and put it in the closet in their room. Same thing for us. So we're not trying to dig through this closet to figure out where the sheets are for our bed. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sort everything based on whose sheets are whose, and then we'll go from there. Fifteen minutes later and I have everything sorted out so I have bins over here I need to clean these out before we use them this is our pile of stuff we are getting rid of I don't know does Goodwill take sheets I don't know I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with the sheets and all that the, everything else I am all this is going it's either going to be recycled given away thrown away etc. So there's a lot of stuff in that pile to go through. And then here are the sections. So I forgot we have that twin size bed in the office. So Derek doesn't have a twin. So all of this stuff here is going to go with that bed. And I'll share with you what we're going to do with that. So these two piles are going in there. This is our, our pile here, this one and this one. So we've got some pillowcases and some sheets. This is Derek's. So Derek's bed is new. So he has a new set of sheets here and then some extra and pillowcases. And then this is Kate's over here. So we're going to clean out these bins over here to get all of that put in everybody's closet. And then let me share the office bed. And my goal, I hope this fits underneath here. Oh yes, it's going to be perfect. So Derek has, I think there's another rolling bin. If not, we're going to figure out a bin to put underneath here. So this right now has some of my bags and stuff in it. And as you see, I need to dust under there again. I'm going to do that too. So that's going to be underneath here. Then I'm going to have another one over here that has the sheets and stuff for this bed. And then I'm also going to put the blow-up mattress under here. Because there's plenty of space under here and it will be out of the way. But we know where it is if we need it. So I got all of the sheets and things put in everybody's room. The only thing that's not done is this right here that goes in the office under this bed. Now I thought I had a second 
under the bed organizer but Derek is actually using it for his bags so I'm going to have to purchase one of those I got in the attic I looked in my office closet and I do not have anything I can put all of this in that has a lid I want to make sure it has a lid because it's going underneath this bed and I don't want dust on the clean linens so both of these stacks will go in one of those under the bed organizers i'm going to order that today to make sure that that gets done i do not want to put that off so let me share with you the next order of business and y'all this linen closet looks amazing so the last couple of things that we need to do are just put everything back in the closet that we have not done yet these are my sister-in-law's we're just going to put those on a shelf I don't even know if she knows they're here now this i was going to do in this video and i decided i'm gonna wait this is what all of our nail stuff is in and when we have time after all of this decluttering is done we'll come back to this and organize reorganize this if i feel it needs to be done i was going to do it today but i did not want this to be extremely long so we got to put that back in there these are kate's little she's got this and that's izzy's bed that's usually in the bedroom that she has a robe we need to put a hook in that closet that might not be a today thing but that needs to get done this goes in the closet these pillows we have an old um, heating pad that we actually still use and then these linens over here so all of that's going to go back in the closet and then it's going to be completely finished so it looks so much better i cannot wait to share it with you and here is the newly organized closet you guys look at it it looks so much better i'll explain why i kept some things look you can see the floor there's actually a floor and there's not junk piled up everywhere with dust so this is pretty clean we're gonna leave that for toilet paper these are the things that are kate's organizers i want to hang a hook on the side over here to put her robe on we do have some of those i just have to get my husband in here to do that those are my sister-in-law's toilet paper um towels will go there it'll fill up the whole thing we've got beach towels extra heating pad the other one is in our room these are the washcloths and hand towels up here that is the nail kit and then over here this is extra so this y'all if you've watched for a quite a bit of time you've probably seen this that is what we've been using we use that for the beach as our like big beach blanket came from better homes and gardens i love it I've used it for many different things, but that is mainly what we've used it for is a beach blanket to put on the sand for everybody. So I'm going to keep that. Then there's pillows up there. We use those when we travel. So we definitely use those. So I wanted to keep those. So this looks so much better. And look who's in here. Ace is like, ooh, I'm going to hang out in here. So another decluttering project complete. And before I end this, let me share with you what the donation pile looks like. And here is the updated donation pile. So I did find a box for those from last video. And one of these totes was, was it's seen its better day. So I used that to put all the mugs in. When I was putting Derek's linens in his closet, he decided he did not want this Pikachu, so that's going. That's all of the stuff that you saw earlier that was in the linen closet that we did not want. So all of that is hopefully going to go to donation in the next week or two. So another project complete. So another organization project or decluttering project complete and it feels really good. I have been wanting to get in that closet and get that organized and it really didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. So I hope you've enjoyed this. In the comments below, I would love for you to share with me an area that you are decluttering or would like to declutter this year. So let's get a conversation going in the comments below. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time.
Bye, you guys.